Okay, okay. I, uh, sorry if this isn't too clear. I'm trying to use some different software to record this video. Um, uh, I've been wanting to get back to, uh, the console reviews for quite some time. But uh, the fact is, I don't have any new consoles, and, well, I have to say, I, I, get, I need a new computer, so. Um, but I do have something, there, there's my finger. I do have something I can review, and it's technically a console. But it's a handheld. So, push the monitor back. And I got in here. Get this in here. And you probably read that title that's right up there. That this is um, the Game Boy. Don't ask me where to get this. I don't know where I got it. Yeah. I got a Game Boy. Um, um, I don't know how long ago, but this has been repaired, actually, and my brother had it and dropped it on the floor, and it had to ship it off somewhere in California for two weeks to get it back, and I didn't have to pay for it, you know, but then they released the SP, and I'm like, crap, why didn't I just wait to get the SP, it has the light screen, this one's dark, but it works, it works, I'm going to get uh, yeah, Sim City 2000. It's for 16 bucks. Game strap. Okay, what else do? Okay. Other things, uh, I got my little bag full with all my stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, the Pokemon. Pokemon stuff. Uh, this is Sapphire. Um, uh, more Pokemon. This is Pokemon Crystal. Uh, I got Pokemon Gold or something. I got Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue. Don't remember it anymore. Um, and then I got one other game here. That's my brother's Jimmy Neutron. Blurry. There you are. Look at that. Look at that focus. So I got Jimmy Neutron in the bag, I got Pokemon, Sapphire version, SimCity 2000, and Pokemon Crystal. I have more, and that's all I got today. So let's take a look at the features of this, this, this mechanism here. So it's in a shape, uh, similar to a PSP shape, you know, long and then the screens and the buttons on the outside, rather than up and down like Game Boy, original Game Boy is, which I do have, and I plan on reviewing that, but we got the D-pad over here, and your classic Nintendo D-pad, it works, works good, fine, uh, we got your uh, start, select, B and A, and we got shoulder buttons, I th believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, this was the first Game Boy to have shoulder buttons. The, the other ones were, you know, the, the Game Boy Color and the Slims, they were all like this type of shape. I don't think they had shoulder buttons. These one, this one did. Um, you know, um, yeah, these shoulder buttons don't click from the inside like the, the Game Boy Micro did. You know, the, you know, the Toastface explained that most of them click from the outside. Um, from the outside, but his says the Game Boy Micro click more to the inside, but nothing happens really when you press down on the inside top of these, but beyond that, we'll go to the top here, we got um, EXT port, so you can link up your uh, Game Boy to the Diffic Game Boy, uh, you could hook this, I think you needed a special cord for the Game, uh, game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance, but uh, I like to hook it up to my old Game Boy, because you could, and then you Pokemon, you trade your Pokemon, and then you click, um, warp, or like, going back in time, so you can trade, and then, then we got the cartridge slot, and then, and then uh, when I first said all Game Boys, that, uh, Game Boys, I'm pretty sure, you, you know, when I first got these, I was, you know, like, where it's, they go inside, right? Oh no! 
But that's the back when I was like five and I had the original Game Boy and, you know, those big long cartridges like so. And I stuck them in a big fat Game Boy and I'm like, rah! Then I figured out, and maybe it goes in backwards. And then there's it. There's your Game Boy. Boy Dance cartridge, and then this thing was compatible with all the other Game Boy games. Game Boy Color, the original Game Boy, and just stuck out a, a lot. Anyways, stick this one back in, and we'll look at the bo bottom. So over here we got a toggle switch on and off. I just turned it on. Uh, we got a headphone jack and the volume knob. What's it at? Oh, yay, the thing finally turned off. You can probably hear me now. Uh, and we got a battery compartment with two AA batteries, which lasts a long time, which is part of keeping the Game Boy running is the battery life. Um, I got some random stickers on the back here with crap, but... Okay, we got, um... Pokemon... Sapphire, I think. The boot screen. I'll try to get this the best I can for you. So you've got a dark screen. That, that was the drawback of these things. Start. So we see me here in some dress. At least I wish you had it. I wish you some more light on the subject. There we go. So I believe this thing was 16 bits. Based on the SNES and power. But that's about it to review them. The games were nice. Uh, the only big, huge drawback on this system... Excuse me for all the noise of the camera. The only big, huge drawback on the system is its dark, dark, dark screen. The screen size is pretty nice. Uh, I've had to take a look at how big it is, but... Overall, it's a very nice system. Very portable, but... It's too bad they didn't have to put backlight into this, so... Okay. Bye-bye.